Hello, it's Bradley J, and we're in Monterosso, Italy, the largest of five towns in the Cinque Terre area, and uh, it's right on the beach. And the train station, as you can see, is right on the beach. It's even better than I imagined. And there's always a bit of trepidation and anxiety when coming into a new town that I don't have a hotel in, hoping I get a good hotel. And I got one just to the right of what you see here, right on the beach for 70 euro. And on the first night, it was really magical. I went down to the beach and enjoyed a beer. And you could hear the surf, of course, but you could smell wood smoke from a fireplace. Right away, I go to the uh, market and stock up on water and food and a couple of beers. And they had marinated calamari, so I got some. The town features a really good wine shop with service and tables outside, heated tables, and they serve toast with olive tapenade and uh, pesto for free. The wine was five euro glass and it was spectacular. And the view of the town passing by this table down the quiet streets was so comforting. I stayed there enjoying wine for about two hours. Actually, I got a whole bottle, drank about half, took the rest to the room. Wandering the alleyways and the small, narrow streets of Monteroso is what it's all about for me. It's amazing that in a place this perfect, this seaside, this romantic, there are no tourists, zero tourists. Yes, it's winter, but so what? The temperature is great. A big factor in the charm of the five towns in the Cinque Terre area is the space between the towns. These beautiful paths that go right along the edge of high, high cliffs and look down onto the sea. Here's the view of Monte Rosso from the path. Usually when I travel, it's jam, jam, jam on the train long distances, but not this time, so I had a lot of time to relax. The restaurants didn't open till 7, so I spent a lot of time sitting on benches along the boardwalk watching the ocean. And there's my travel partner, Mr. Moretti. It was my favorite restaurant. They allowed dogs, and there was a particular ravioli with seafood bass stuffing that I liked a lot and had multiple times. So that's Monterosso. Couldn't recommend it enough, and I would only recommend it in the winter because it gets really jammed up in the summer. If you liked the video, go ahead and subscribe and click on the bell to get notified of future posts. There will be many future posts. You be well now and travel lightly.